Hello beautiful fierce tribe. I am coming to you today with your weekly reading Wednesday anatomical reading and today I have tuned into the energy of the group and what's coming through very strongly today is a message from the esophagus. The esophagus travels from the mouth all the way down through the chest down to the stomach. And it's where our food travels from our mouths to our stomach to go on its journey of digestion as it goes through our system. So I'm tuning in today to the energetic message that's coming through from this part of the anatomy. If you have been suffering with heartburn or um, gastroesophageal reflux disease or anything else in this area that's causing you some issues, then this message is vital for you today because it's incredibly relevant right now. If you aren't suffering from those things, um, then that's not to say that this message isn't relevant for you too. What happens is that these things show up in our energetic field to speak to us before they show up in our physical body. So we are, oh, hi Zyda, <laughs> nice to see you, hey. <laughs> uh, we are physical second, we're energy first and physical second. So these messages show up in our energetic field before they show up in our physical body. And if we are lucky enough to get the message early, then we may not need to have them show up in our physical body. So we're going to tune in today. So just tuning in with me now, taking your focus inwards and bringing your awareness into the space between your mouth and your stomach, the space where your food travels. And what's coming through for me right now for the group is this question. Where are you finding it hard to swallow the choices that have brought you to this place? That's a pretty big question. Where are you finding it hard to come to terms with and Swallow the mouthful that you have bitten off in this life. When we are young, we have ideas of where our life will go and how it will look. And when we are, we reach a certain point in our lives and we realise that perhaps those dreams may not come to fruition the way we had thought or perhaps we are on a completely different journey now and those dreams were childish and we don't want them anymore. So this is the point at which many people go on a midlife crisis and buy the sports car and have the affairs or get a complete change in career or do something radical and, and travel the world and leave their family and you know these things happen for a reason because it's the point at which we realise that our our plan for our lives when we were younger has not come to fruition. But what this part of our body today is asking us to do is to think about where we are struggling to come to terms with our choices in this process. Everything in this process, everything in our life is a choice. How we show up and respond to life's actions that are thrown at us, the events of and life that are thrown at us uh, is always a choice. And it's how we choose to walk our talk and how we choose to show up with our choices that defines us. This area also wants you to know that it is very much in alignment with the, um, it's the path between the, the third eye and the heart chakra. This is our throat chakra. The esophagus moves straight through the throat chakra, all the way down through the heart chakra and down to the solar plexus chakra so it crosses the boundaries and this is an area of much blockage for a lot of people this is an area that often will show up when we are not serving ourselves and not aligning with our highest good the throat chakra is about where our will where what we would like to see happen meets divine will for our lives and what our true path is and if we are not coming to terms with our choices of where we are at and where we would like to be, the, the esophagus, which is making me swallow a lot at the moment, <laughs> your esophagus is, is struggling with speaking to me at the moment. Knowing that you are on the right path knowing that you are 
all you need to do in your daily practice is align with your highest good and let go of your ideas of where you should be heading. Allow yourself to walk your path with grace and grit, to quote Ricky Jane. Allow yourself to walk your path with grace and grit. Allow yourself to be divinely guided and know that the divine will is what you are yearning to align with, that you will feel the most fulfilled with if you walk that path. If you keep struggling to, to cling on to your ideas of, of material success or, or um, relationship success or life achievements and things you should have done by now, you will always feel unsatisfied because that is not what lights your soul up. What lights you up is being on your divine path. For each of us, that is different. So when we line up with our divine path, we feel that sense of satisfaction and fulfillment. And your esophagus is begging you today to line up with that. If you have been suffering from heartburn or esophageal reflux, your body wants you to remember that these choices that you have made were conscious choices. They may have been driven by the subconscious mind, but you still chose to be where you are today. And to accept that perhaps it is where you are meant to be for this point in your life and that the next step in your life is a choice. You are not the victim in your life. You have the choice and the choice to walk that divine path that lines you up with your soul. So your daily practice this week is to line up with that divine path. And how do we do that? We do that with feeling. We tune into the highest vibrational feeling state and we hold it as often and as long as we can. And that highest vibrational feeling state is the feeling state of love and gratitude and compassion and appreciation. The beautiful feelings that make you feel the feels through every fibre of your being. Bring that into your daily practice anywhere, whether it's in meditation, whether it's simply to close your eyes and breathe into your heart and feel the feelings lighting you up. Energetically, you will program yourself and program the world around you to align with your divine path and show up with where you need to be heading day after day after day. It's that simple. Have a beautiful day. Thanks for joining me live, everybody. That's really nice. Really nice to see some of my great friends there today. <laughs> so much love to you all. Don't freeze if you're in Perth or Melbourne. I hear Melbourne's really cold too. Don't freeze. It's so freezing. I've got my scarf on in the house with the heater. <sighs> Happy winter. Bye.